The conditions are brutal, but the hunt for debris in the Yukon continues. Military planes from across the country are joining the search, an urgent push for answers at a time when little is known. Obviously, there is some sort of pattern in there. The fact that we are seeing this uh, in a significant degree over the past week uh, is a cause for uh, interest. All three of the unidentified flying objects shot down since Friday have similarities. They all seem to float and had no known propulsion system. The objects were unmanned and they were located at altitudes that posed a danger to civil aviation. That's much lower than the Chinese spy balloon. Since its discovery, NORAD has intensified how it monitors radar, which may partially explain the sudden surge in sightings. One of the reasons that we think we're seeing more is because we're looking for more. Fighter jets were scrambled to shoot down all three objects. The first in Alaska on Friday, landing on dangerous ice. An object was then taken down over the Yukon on Saturday. The search area near Dawson City covers some 3,000 square kilometers. And we now know the third was actually first detected over southern Alberta before it was picked up over Montana on Saturday night. By the time it was shot down over Lake Huron on Sunday, it had crossed over at least one sensitive U.S. military site. All these objects are surprising, even to the experts. Well, I have to say that from my time uh, as deputy commander of NORAD, uh, I had no indication while I was down there um, that anything like this was floating over uh, continental North America. As speculation about their origins runs rampant, there's one theory intelligence leaders are trying to shut down. I don't think the American people need to worry about aliens with respect to these craft, period. I don't think there's any... Okay, Katie, we don't have to worry about aliens, but what more are you hearing from your sources? Well, the real sense I get, Ian, is that truly they don't know where these things are from. I asked whether the Canadian government has plans to summon an ambassador for a stern talking to, just like they did pretty quickly after the Chinese spy balloon discovery. And I was told there are no plans for summoning, at least at this time. So it's another sign they don't know if it's a country behind this or what exactly is going on. Until they can get their hands on the debris, they're going to be limited in what they can learn. And that's going to take some time, given the search conditions. Thanks, Katie. Thanks.